Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do my blocks. Our team has gone into um, robot design before and we've gotten our rubric back and it said, hey, why don't you guys consider using my blocks to make your programming a little more streamlined and easier? That's when we went, oh, let's find out about my blocks. So if you wanna see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, so my blocks is just an easy way to take maybe blocks that you just continually use over and over again to kind of put together as in one block. So that way you can kind of streamline your code so that you don't have to keep using those same blocks over and over again that you might seem to be like, hey, didn't we take this path before? So it's kind of like a copy paste, but in a sense that we're just adding to whatever the my blocks um, can be to make your code that much easier. So if you want to see this, let's go straight to my computer. Okay, everybody, I'm on my Lego Mindstorm software here, and I'm going to go ahead and get going on showing you how this my block works and going to the city shaper table to show you how the you know, my blocks works with the robot. So let me go ahead and explain what I have right here and hopefully I can streamline this for you. So the my blocks again is going to make it easier for you to um, program without having to do the same things over again. Think of it maybe as a copy and paste. So I can use what you see right here. I can um, turn these three blocks into a my block so I don't have to keep repeating the same blocks over again and just making it, you know, my life really hard. So let me explain what's happening in these uh, blocks. I'm going to have my robot end up um, to the right of the traffic jam, if you guys can uh, picture the city shaper table. So I'm going to have my robot in base. This block is going to have my robot go forward past the traffic jam. Once I pass the traffic jam, um, the robot is going to back up. So if you can take a look at my cursor, the robot's going to go forward past the traffic jam and back up. So it's going to be just a B motor turn where it backs up. And then this will get my robot to back up, you know, all the way to the wood. The wood would be right here, basically to the wood, so it can line up. The robot I'm using is the droid robot. It has a flat back to it. So this is way more than the wood is, um, just so that it can ram into the wood and basically line up. So these three blocks will be uh, the, you know, actions that I want to keep repeating. So let me go ahead and show you how we turn it into a my block. We're going to highlight those three blocks. We're going to come up here to tools. We're going to go to my block builder. So there's a place for the name that you can call this. So, um, uh, I'm going to call this second launch area. I'm basically wanting this where the robot ends up. I'm wanting it to be kind of like my second launching area where now I can go to the swing. I can go to the safety factor and elevator. So that middle of the board is going to be my second launching area. There's a place here for a description just in case you forget. So robot will end up to the right whoops, of the traffic. Wow, I am misspelling everything here. Okay. And then you can pick an icon down here, but I don't really see one that, you know, I like. So I'm just going to click finish. So there is the my block right here. And if you see there, it says second launch area. Um, if I click down here where it says my blocks, I've done some before, but the one that I just made is right there, second launch area. So now if I want to do a mission, I will just now add to this my block whatever other blocks I'm going to use from there. But notice here, I won't have to 
create those three blocks anymore because they are, you know, encompassed in this my block. So you might be asking, okay, Mr. Hina, what if I now do a different mission? How do I access, access this my block? Because if you watch right here, if I open up a new tab, let's say I'm going to do another program. And if I click right here, you see there's nothing in the my block. So let me go ahead and show you how that's going to work. So um, we have this my block here. If I click the project properties, and then there's the you know the tabs, and there's my my blocks tab. So the one that I want was right here, the second launch area. And now I'm going to go ahead and click export. So what it now does is allows me to save this. So I'm going to maybe save this to the desktop. So I'm going to click save. Sorry, my computer's going a little slow. Oh, it's asking me for the name. Okay, so second launch area. So I'm going to click save. Okay, so now if I'm going to do a different project or program, so I'll come up here and then I'll just go ahead and now import this. So I'm going to go to my blocks. Now I'm going to import. And so I save that to my desktop. So I'm going to click desktop and let's go ahead and look for this guy. There he is. So there is now um, that my block that I just did. So if I now go back um, to the program, now there is my my block. So now if I want to, you know, I can go back to this one. Oops, let me go to the program. Okay, so I can use this one here for the swing. If I want to go to, you know, the safety factor, you know, now I can use that my block. Okay, let me get rid of this because that's nothing. So now I can use this um, my block now for a different mission. But now that I've exported it to my desktop, I can now import it into another program and now add to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add, you know, whatever else blocks I need to get to a separate mission. Okay, so let me go ahead now and basically show you how the my blocks would work for different missions. So basically now I'm just going to open up different tabs of programs here and I will go to the swing. I'll go to the safety factor and I'll go to the elevator all using this my block. Okay, everybody, the MyBlock has been downloaded to this Droid FLL robot. And I basically just want to show you where it'll go and where it'll end up. So it's going to go forward. It's going to back up and then head straight into the sideboard here. And that's what we're considering our second launching area. So once I can get this robot to be here, now I can have it go to the swing. I can have it go to the you know safety factor, the elevator. So let's go ahead and just see... Um, how this my block goes and then we'll take it from there okay so this is now going to be the spot where I can add blocks to the my blocks and you know go to a separate place
Okay guys, so hopefully the my blocks was hopefully easy for you to figure out. And it's one of those things where you might have to pick a spot that you guys might always go to, kind of like I did, where that you know middle of the board is. Because um, you you know that my blocks is kind of pointless unless you guys are always going to the same spot. Kind of like um, hydrodynamics, if you can remember that a couple of years ago, there was a spot where we always seem to take the same path. And thinking about it now, we could have used the my blocks just to make life easier and not have to go, wait, wait, what was that? How many degrees was that? And what was our turn? It could have already been stored and then we could have just added to it. So as you guys progress with your programming and you guys go into robot design, look for little tricks like the my blocks. So judges will go, hey, that made it a lot easier to figure out, made it easier on your team. That way you can score those points, okay? All right, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mission Zaga Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out.